Hello and welcome to Center for Victory's podcast of your best day yet. At Center for Victory, we're here to help unlock, reinforce, and enrich relationships through personal and professional development. I'm Eric Guy, Chief Victory Officer here at the Center for Victory. Uh, today, just kind of wanted to talk to you about um, a topic that's been kind of hot since the beginning uh, of this new year at least from my standpoint, when we look at uh, personal professional development, and that is, you know, developing your inner circle. Um, and that's that inner circle of people that are most important. Um, the reason why that inner circle is important, you know, just kind of uh, uh, a few little snapshots there is that's your go-to people to whom you can get clarity in your thoughts, get rid of maybe any um, dilemmas, any obstacles you might have in the areas of your life. Uh, so these are your people that are personal consultants um, because they help you out in any way possible. Uh, the reason that I, I think this is appropriate is because many people aren't selective with this inner circle. And that's why I'm calling this podcast, uh, You Have to Get Yourself a Dawn. So everybody needs a dawn, right? Everybody needs a dawn. And I'll, I'll go into that later. Uh, but being selective, because it's been said that the uh, five closest people shape your success, your interests, your hobbies, your 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 ability uh, to do things in certain areas. So who you surround yourself with really is going to affect you deeply on a fundamental human level, both personally and professionally. And, you know, we want to attract those people into our lives that that really are life-giving and not what uh, a lot of people call uh, toxic or emotional vampires. So, you know, it was it was coined by Jim Rohn long ago that he said, you know, those five people do matter. But why I think it's important in our culture, in our society, is because a lot of people don't take time to figure that out. But I've also found out that most people um, are spending time around people that they really don't want to be around, whether they're doing that consciously or unconsciously. I believe a lot of people are doing it unconsciously. And hopefully what you get out of this uh, today is uh, a few ways to be more intentional with that inner circle. And I don't think it was hard maybe years and years ago before social media, but we have all kind of people surrounding us. We're networking all the time with people here, there, and the other uh, and then the other thing is, once that inner circle, if you know what that is, a lot of people aren't intentional about spending time with those people um, enough and tend to spend more time with the people in those outer circles that really don't matter as much. OK, and why I said everybody needs a dawn is because uh, I have a dawn uh, and you should, too. His actual name is Dawn. Uh, it's funny how we met. We're we're. Uh, in many ways, we're nothing alike, but in a lot of ways, uh, we're very much alike. Uh, I met Dawn probably 11 or 12 years ago. Um, I think mostly I met him through a seminar that we were conducting, got to know him real well. Uh, we were different from professionally. Uh, he's much more blue collar, hands on, um, very much a, a craftsman in his area of specialty. And he's just an all around good guy. Um, so I'll go into to some of those things that make him, uh, just fan, a fantastic person to be around. But Dawn's one of those folks that, uh, looks at me and might say, Hey, look, you know, this idea or whatever might seem a little crazy, but I'm behind you all the way. Okay. And when you're looking at that, you know, you also want to look at those personal values that you hold to establish that inner circle. And just a couple of things that I can appreciate about Dawn. Again, we're we're different. Uh, we're almost separated by 20 years of age. Uh, but he he's that go to person. If I called him in the middle of the night, he'd be there. If I needed something, he would he would do it. Um, and he wouldn't tell me no. But a couple of things that I really like about him. And then, of course, that inner circle for me Um Again, not an all-inclusive list, but just some things that I think you need to be thinking about as you step into the new year, as people are doing 
uh, doing their goals, setting, you know, setting the bar a little bit higher for themselves. You don't want people that are going to bring you down. Uh, so a couple of things here, uh, you know, four or five things. The first thing, you know, when I think about Dawn, I think of of loyalty. You know, um, not every friendship is forever. You know, some people, you know, come and go. They're passing ships. They have a specific role. But, uh, you know, one of the things that I found with with Dawn is, is he's very loyal. So uh, and and he gets the same back from me. I'm sure if if somebody said you know something negative about me, he would be the first to rush in and defend me. Um, and they care about you in a very uh, significant way. So make sure your your inner circle has that leverage for you, so that's somebody that's very loyal to you. And of course, you have to provide it back. Um, the second thing that I was thinking um, when I when I said everybody needs a dawn is it's all about relationships. We talk about relationships a lot here uh, at Center for Victory. So it doesn't matter how much you value friendships, you should shouldn't be put in a position where you have to choose between them and other relationships. And I've seen that happen with people in work and at home. Okay, so in their personal professional lives, a true friend. So when we talk about relationships will not try to create a wedge between you and anybody else. Okay. And again, hopefully you don't have that, but we found that many people do. Um, they're happy for the other relationships that you have. And more than likely, they'll they'll probably get along. If you do your inner circle right, they'll probably get along with those people. It doesn't matter, you know, where in life they are, young, old, whatever, whatever they're doing in their profession. Um, how do you avoid that kind of situation where it's not a real true friend, a real, not a close relationship? Again, you have to make your priorities, standard values and expectations clear from the start. Um, when I met Dawn, you know, again, it was very clear from the start that even though we we had two completely different professions, that there were a lot of things, especially standards, expectations, values, priorities, you know, one being family that we're up there. And that's the kind of person you want to be around. I think the third thing when you look at developing that inner circle is privacy. So we all have secrets. Uh, we all have things we want to share, but it has to be done on our terms. You, know, you don't want anybody blabbing your dirty laundry. You know, someone in your inner circle should understand that and respect it. It should be like a steel trap. Again, there are probably things uh, that I've told that I know I've told Don that have not gone anywhere. And again, same thing. You know, he gets the same thing back from me. We talk about a lot of things. Uh, they remain private. Uh, you know, so if you're playing in your inner circle, one of the things I would say is that that confidentiality piece, you know, keeping things private. They're just between you and them. Uh, you don't want to go, you know, them blabbing around um, your business, uh, you know, so to speak, you know, it doesn't necessarily be a friend, but this is it all could also be a spouse, right. That's in that inner circle. Um, the, the fourth thing that, you know, and I have a, a lot of respect for him and, and I know that he has a lot of respect for me, but that's that, you know, that fourth thing is respect. Um, he's definitely earned it in, in my book. I mean, Tons, I just have massive respect for for what he's able to do, uh, the person that he is, how he runs his life. Um, he has high expectations. And the, the thing I respect about him most, and it goes into even trust, is that if he says he's going to do something, he's going to do it, um, whether you're there or not. So huge respect for, for somebody like that. So think about those people that you might have in your inner circle, if you haven't established one yet, may be something that you look at. Do you respect them? I mean, it's hard to do things with people and be around people if you don't have respect for them. Uh, I think the other thing uh, that I love, absolutely love from the get go with Dawn and my other inner circle is vision. OK, we just got over. Um, we just came out of our, our vision day, our community vision day. The week before that, we did our own family vision day. Um, of course, Dawn was at the community vision day as well, has heard that, that material time and time again. 
but your inner circle plays a crucial role in your development as a human being. Okay. And the last thing you want to do is tell somebody something and they sink your ship. Okay. And I have another person that, that is really profound in my life in that inner circle as well. Uh, but I can think of a story, you know, with Dawn, uh, about four or five years ago, when we moved offices, we wanted to be on uh, my wife and I growing, you know, being as part of the company. We wanted our office on our property. We had enough property to do that. And there was a uh, detached garage. And I looked at Dawn. I asked him to come over and I said, Hey, Dawn, I need this to be an office. And I will tell you without blinking an eye, he just kind of looked at me like this. He's like, Another crazy idea, but I can make it happen. Okay, and he did. I'm standing in it right now, believe it or not. Um, this very nice office that I stand in was once a garage. My uh, my office or offices are, are on our property, and it's fantastic to have that kind of vision. And it was much needed vision because this all happened. It was completed right before COVID happened, and we were able to continue our business, continue with everything that we've been doing without a glitch. So, you know, you want somebody that's going to look at you and say, you know, go after it. Now, now I'm crazy jumping off a cliff without a parachute, obviously not that, but what I'm talking about is, you know, having that vision, them understanding your values, your standards, and them telling you, go after it, I'll support you. Okay. And the other thing I think I would throw in there now, I'm thinking about this, it's not necessarily on, on this list here is communication. Um, I value that and, and I value that with, with Dawn and I value that with the other people in my inner circle, constantly communicating, whether it be email, text, but a lot of times it's via phone and a lot of times it's face to face, you know, so you should consider that, you know, you can't communicate with everybody, but who you're spending most of that time with communicating the, the conversations I've had with him and other people in that inner circle, so just think about those th things as you enter this new year. I think you should have an inner circle. I think you should have people that really build you up. You can't rely on everybody. You can't rely on, you know, uh, the thoughts that that people on your social media feeds say about you. It's those people that are really core to you uh, that you want to spend more time with, that you respect, Um they keep things private and confidential that, that take into account your other relationships, encourage you with them, communicate uh, effectively with you back and forth and that have the same vision that you do. So um, I hope this is helpful as you look into the new year. Really, you know, think about that inner circle. Who's feeding in and also who are you feeding into? You know, don't be shy. Be that person that that you get invited into that inner circle for somebody as well. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, listening. Um, make sure you visit our website at centerforvictory.com uh, or give us a call 724-462-8383. And remember, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, make this your best day yet. Till next time.